What's going on everyone? Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and on today's video, we're gonna dive into this quote on my Instagram account, which is, You might be an adult based on your age, but how often is your wounded inner child controlling how you act, react, and respond? So what was the first thing that just came up to you just then? This context of your inner wounded child, or was it the, the identity conflict that says, no, I'm an adult and I'm someone who's always in control and not wanting to acknowledge and honor that inner child, whether it's your inner uh, five-year-old, whether it's your inner 12-year-old, whether it's your inner three-year-old, however old it may be, that is just crying and screaming out for love and attention. How often is that version of yourself in control? And are you even aware of it? Because for most of my clients, when I bring up this context about the wounded inner child, many of them don't actually have that awareness around it. They're not aware that at times when they are acting less than how they would like to, that maybe they're not the ones that are actually in control because it's a weird context to think I'm an adult, but it's not me that's running the show. Now, yes, there are the elements around the belief system and everything like that that comes into the, the, the childhood, the, the strategies to develop love, connection, attention, and all of these things that can be at play as well. And most of the time is in the unconscious mind. It's not something that you're actually aware of. So diving into that, what is it, Brett? Let's have a conversation around that. So there are strategies that you learned when you were a child. These strategies got you the love, attention, acknowledgement, whatever it was that you were deeply craving from somebody in your family. Maybe it was your mom, maybe it was your dad, maybe it was your siblings, maybe it was somebody else. Whoever it may have been, it's a strategy in which you develop to regulate your environment, to shift and transform the way that you're showing up so that others kind of felt sorry for you, kind of like drew you drew their energy and attention to you so that you got the acknowledgement that you were looking for because maybe there was a time where you were kind of jumping up and down and whoever you were craving the attention from was just not paying attention and so you then elevated it to another level all of a sudden you're jumping up and down throwing your hands everywhere and still not getting the attention that you're looking for or that you're craving so then you're in the shopping center and you throw yourself on the floor and all of a sudden your mom or your dad or whoever it may be gives you that attention. Now, when it comes to these playing out in adulthood, they are generally showing up in a different way. Of course, you're an adult, you're not necessarily going to throw yourself on the floor and scream, although there are times and maybe that's just really what you want to do. You're just like, I'm so fed up, I'm just going to throw myself down here and I'm just going to yell and scream because that's what I want to do. And that's a perfect awareness to when the wounded inner child is actually at play. So being able to understand where this is showing up in your life is the first part. Having the compassion and the self-love to acknowledge the, the wounded child who is seeking that love, attention and acceptance. And being able to connect in with him or her and be able to give them what it is that they are seeking. Because the, the strategies that we learn as childs to get that love and attention, now we're in, in adulthood, as I said, it just doesn't play out the same, but it is still prevalent. There is still a, I must be a certain way to in, in order to get the attention from the people around me. And it becomes a manipulation. And a lot of the time you may find that there are people who are seeing through it that then start to like drift out of your life a little bit because perhaps they're like, yeah, but every time she comes to me or he comes to me is generally when they have a relationship breakdown or this or this and it's leaving them with a feeling that they're just being used when you come to them in the bad times and that's one of the reasons also why uh, clients come to me because they feel like they're a burden on their friends and they want to start working through that but that's a side conversation but maybe it's an experience that's coming up for yourself and it's linked into that wounded inner child that is just craving something, but it is not necessarily sure how to get it from a healthy perspective. So one of the strategies that we look in is first and foremost, identifying when and where is the wounded child at play? Like when is he or she showing up in your life? When are you finding yourself acting less than how you would like to? And maybe 
Maybe that is that. Maybe that is your wounded child. Check in with yourself today. Like how, how many times throughout the day, as you've been walking through your day, have you been maybe not been the one in control? You know, maybe it's the spiteful in a little child within you that is just craving and seeking and like, oh, you know, just wants this. Like how many times has that played out? Start developing the awareness around it so that you can start to understand, love, nurture that inner child within you. Because whilst we are adults in physical bodies, in that sense, the, the body size is of an adult, you know, the spirit and the soul and everything like that is not really aging. And so there are all these things from past years that even if you looked back at, probably bring you straight back there. If you connect to the emotion, if you connect to the memory, if you connect to any aspect of it, I would imagine that when you're back there, you're really connected to what was going on for yourself at the time. And it's almost like you're there, you're that five-year-old again. You're, you know, somebody told you, you can't have that. And all of a sudden, this is who, where you're operating from because the emotional development has kind of stuck in that era, in that age bracket for yourself. So being able to really get underneath it is what we, we do in a lot of the work that I work through. So check in with yourself. Let me know in the comments, how often is the wounded inner child running the show? How often is he or she the one that is actually communicating? That's the needing one of, of all of it. Or how, you know, how often and how does he or she show up for you? Let me know in the comments. Let's have a conversation down there. would really love to hear. So in that, we'll round out this video. And if you got any value out of this one, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. What are we going to do?